Hey everybody, it's Mr. Snake Eater coming back at you with some more Bible talk. Now then, I'm gonna speak about a Bible verse that says God works in mysterious ways. I think that's in Palms. Still memorizing the Bible. But now, I can't tell you why God works in mysterious ways. I don't know myself. I can't tell you why. But I can tell you how I know, and how I know God's real for that. Now, I'm going to explain how one of my YouTube videos came to be. Actually, I might be explaining two of them. Now, now the Holy Spirit is guiding me through this video. And he guided me through some of my other Bible talk videos. And he was guiding me that helped me that to make one. Now then, a few, now I used to debate and I would always be on the losing end of the debate. I could barely ever prove anything I was saying. Now, that, now that was a sign that God didn't help me with debates, even though I prayed for it. God didn't want me to debate. He wanted me to do something else. What that is? Making YouTube videos? I don't know. He's helped me with them so far. But, I'm not meant to debate. I can just tell you that much. Now, when I'm searching on Google, this one time, I came across this Bible quote that said, Do not follow your heart. Who can understand it? Now, at first, I didn't give a care about it. In fact, I actually thought it was wrong. And I thought that with all my heart, I didn't bother even to look into it. Ah. You just gotta love irony sometimes, don't you? Now, a few weeks ago I got to this debate with this one guy from California who make an entire movement. I won't say his username. If you find us, uh, okay. You can jump in, you can re continue the debate again if you want. Not gonna do you any good. Anyway, he was doing an actual pretty good job at making me think God wasn't real. Now, at first he did a bad job, but then he started to pile on some pretty good re references. And one of those references, I was born through it. And I noticed this one quote, and it's, and it's about this king, and it says on how he followed his heart and that led him to victory. Now, under this thing, this guy would put, would put the Bible quote and put something under it that said, that said something like, in the beginning, then he would type, one's the beginning. Well, after he said, after the king followed his heart, he posted in, Christians follow their hearts, atheists use their minds. And, as soon as I read that, I remembered the Bible verse that said, Do not follow your heart. So then I went to Google and typed in, What does the Bible say about your heart? Now I got the Bible verse, Joshua 4 9, I think it was. Still memorizing the Bible. Remember that. And. 
sure enough, when I checked into it, it it was there. Do not follow your heart. Who can understand it? And it was at that point that when I disconnected trying to prove God real with my heart, because my heart didn't want God. It wanted to be free. It wanted to do what it wanted, which is why, which is why when I was trying following it, that guy was actually showing good evidence against me. When I disconnected my heart from, from trying to prove God, I noticed something. A lot of things he was saying, he twisted Bible verses to prove it. Okay? One verse in Genesis he said, God and all the living animals can eat whatever they want. The actual verse was, could eat whatever they want. He changed it from could to can. And I, be, and I was able to notice those minor mistakes. Now that's the only minor mistake I could remember. And when I disconnected my heart from my feelings, from, not my feelings, from trying to fo follow my heart to prove God, I was able to notice a lot more mistakes this guy was making on, the, on this website. The guy showed his biblical knowledge pretty well pretty well that he didn't know what he was talking about. And shortly after that, I came on the camera and said, do you follow your heart? And that's how one of my Bible videos was made. This is a really unique story. It shows that God works in mysterious ways. By chance, I just find this one Bible verse that I don't even think is correct. I didn't even bother checking if it was correct. I just immediately assumed it was wrong. And because of that, I nearly lost my faith. I nearly stopped believing. But when I actually checked it, I was able to disconnect from my heart from following it, and able to notice the biblical mistakes this guy was making. He was making some pretty big ones, big, big mistakes that actually weren't in the Bible. And he's saying the Bible says this and this. He was completely ignoring other Bible verses. He didn't have any, he didn't have bit, biblical knowledge. I'm probably beginning to contradict what I'm saying here a bit. Anyway, God has, proved, has proven himself to me. He has proven that following the heart is wrong. Following my heart nearly made me lose my faith. Now, I made that video, and I'm continuing making videos. And I'm having the Holy Spirit guide me. The Holy Spirit's helping me with this video. If you want a good example where the Holy Spirit didn't guide me, it would probably be my Egypt video. Egypt. While, I, while what I said can make sense, that was me and not the Holy Spirit talking. Anyway, can't think of anything else I need to talk about. If I do, probably wouldn't be watching this footage. See ya.